which is a mortal sin to turn down. So I take the drink, but after a while I get bored, I decide it's Tony's time. So I pull out my gun, say my goodbyes, click, nothing. I check the chamber, full of bullets. I pull the trigger again, nothing. See, Tony never was the brightest individual, but by the second time I've tried to kill the dumb son of a bitch, he's caught on. He pulls out his gun, and it is here with that I start to feel bad about all the horrible shit I've done in my life. While I'm making good with God, in comes Charlie Noodles, barreling through the door like a goddamn water buffalo. Gives Tony both barrels. Tony, he flies back five feet out the window, falls 16 fucking floors. Hold up. Where's your gun? Where's your fucking gun? Watch the hall. Fucking kid. Yeah, what? Room service. Charlie and I go back down to the lobby. There's quite a crowd in the building. Natural, of course. It's not every day that someone falls 16 floors. Not even back in 28. What is most unnatural is this son of a bitch is sitting there in the crowd. He had gone inside to get a gambling form. Now, Rich never had a day of luck in his life. But that day he did. I mean, as he's inside, Tony, falling 16 floors, lands right on our getaway car. Fat fuck smashed it flat. Now the important thing is, is as we're standing there getting over the sheer unbelievability of the situation, the police start showing up. So we're hoofing at eight city blocks. I thought I was gonna cough up a lung. Gave up smoking after that. Charlie, he was laughing like a goddamn maniac, calling us a bunch of Marys. That child is good people. Yes, he is. Is that Joey? How many people were in that room? We should have been five. Give me that. Joey! Okay. That is a pit stop, kid. 